Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at the discriminant. So if we take a quick overview, the discriminant is a method of determining which type of roots our quadratic will have. And there is three possibilities depending on the sign of the discriminant. We could have real and distinct, real and equal, or no real roots. So the equation of the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Now you aren't given this directly, however this is the component of the quadratic formula. This is the part underneath the square root sign. And a, b and c, like using the quadratic formula, are quadratic constants. And I'll put a link in the description on how to solve quadratic equations and also how to sketch quadratic graphs, because this is very handy for sketching quadratics. So the conditions that need to be met, which will tell us what type of rules, roots we have, is if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, we have real and distinct, meaning that we have real numbers and they are different. If b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then we have real and equal roots, meaning it is a real number and there is only one of them. And the last condition is that b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then we have no real roots. So if we take a look at question one, question one says, determine the nature of the roots of the equation x squared plus 5x minus 2 equals zero. So if we determine what the constants are, a is 1, b is 5, and c is minus 2, then if we substitute these into the discriminant, what we are interested in is the sign. So not necessarily the value, we're interested in the sign of the value. So we get 25 plus 8, which will give us 33. Now the way that we express our final answer is we say that since 33 is greater than zero, i.e. is a positive value, the equation has two real and distinct roots. And that is how you determine the nature of a quadratic equation. Question two is a problem solving question in that it gives us a unknown value of m and it tells us exactly what condition has to be met. So in this case, it's saying that we have no real roots. So we want to know the values of m, which give this equation no real roots, i.e. a discriminant value, which would be negative. So same thing as before, we define what the constants are. So a is one, b is two m, and c is nine. So we can't write equals zero here because our condition is that it has no real roots, which means that this value here must be less than zero. And that gives us the relationship in order to be able to manipulate the equation for m. So we substitute in a, b, and c, and we end up with 4m squared minus 36 is less than zero, Rearrange this, so we get m squared is less than 9. So m is less than the square root of 9, which means that m is less than 3. So any value of m less than 3 will give a negative discriminant or a value less than 0. And that's how you would go about solving that kind of question there. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, leave any comments in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.